And two people have now officially been charged in connection with recent club drugging murders in Hell's Kitchen. Well, with more details, we have PIX 11's Michelle Ross, who is live in the studio no now with the very latest. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Hazel and Dan. This was supposed to be a fun night out, and it turned out deadly. The venues where police say these crimes happened were at the Ritz and the Q, gay clubs in Hell's Kitchen. Police believe there have been about two dozen similar incidents in the neighborhood and the Lower East Side, with seven of them being deadly. Arraigned on murder and other charges on Monday are 34-year-old Robert DeMeo and 30-year-old Jacob Barroso in connection with the recent club drugging deaths in Manhattan. Barroso's attorney and uncle. We intend to fight this case All I got to say is vigorously. my nephew's not a murderer. Okay. You guys got this backwards. Court documents show at least five people were indicted for drug facilitated thefts in two men last year. 25 year old Brooklyn social worker Julio Ramirez and 33 year old political consultant John Umberger. Both spent the night out in Hell's Kitchen and both found dead in the city due to a fatal cocktail containing fentanyl, lidocaine and other drugs. Prosecutors say about $20,000 were stolen from their bank accounts when suspects used facial recognition software on their banking apps. Unfortunately, these were not isolated incidents and authorities have told me that they believe that this is a growing category of crime. People going out to nightlife venues and victimizing nightlife patrons. City Council member Eric Botcher represents Hell's Kitchen and says the ultimate relief will come when the suspects are found guilty. Another man named in the indictment has been arraigned on robbery and ID theft charges. Police Commissioner Kishant Sewell tweeting that NYPD detectives are also looking for a man named Jaquan Hamilton. Council member Botcher says if you're going to enjoy nightlife, you need to stay vigilant. Tell your friends where you're going and who you're going with. Turn off the facial recognition on your banking apps when you go out. Keep an eye on your drink at all times. And the two men who were charged with murder yesterday afternoon, Jacob Barroso and Robert DeMeo, were both held without bail.